You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Air Alpha Force. These are the Nike Air Alpha Force 88 in the white, red, and black colorway. Before we jump into it, we wanna give a huge shout out to the good folks over at 1985 Gallery. Make sure you give them a follow so you can stay up to date on all the most recent releases. Let's jump right into the shoe. For the upper, you have this premium leather, which the shoe is mostly constructed of. And then right here at the tongue, you do have this vinyl-like plastic material with the Air Force logo in black. Under that, you do have a rubberized basketball logo in orange and black. It comes with flat white laces. For the eyelets at the top, it's very similar to the Jordan eyelets, the little hard plastic. And then for the eyelets on the side, it's the same eyelets that you would see on the Jordan 2, the Jordan 3, and the Nike Revolution. Towards the bottom of the tongue, you have a black rubberized Velcro strap that has a red Nike hit, and it's very similar to the Velcro strap that's also on the Nike Air Trainer 1. Taking this to the toe box, you do have this premium leather with perforated holes, and then you have more premium leather overlays as you get closer towards the mud guard of the shoe. Taking us to the side panel of the shoe, you do have these red Nike swooshes on both sides. Right above that, you have more perforated holes, and then you have black nylon piping under the swooshes. Taking us to the back of the shoe, at the top of the sock liner, you do have this shiny red material with the black Nike swoosh embroidered on. Underneath that, you have more embroidery. You have air in black on the back of the heel cup. And underneath that, you have more synthetic premium leather overlays. And then taking us to the midsole, it's a polyurethane midsole mixed with hard rubber in the front. And it's two-tone in the front, red and white. And you do have three colors in the back, black, gray, and red. For the outsole, it's black and red towards the forefoot. You have more of that gray color in the middle with a red Nike hit, and then you have more red towards the heel. For those of you who might not know, when these originally released, they were just called the Air Alpha Force. Nike added the 88 to this year's retro to remind people of when they actually came out, which was 1988. There's a famous picture of Jordan floating around where he's sitting on the court waiting to check in and he's wearing this exact colorway. And also he was wearing the black and white version in his VHS, Come Fly With Me. So it's pretty cool to see Jordan wearing Nikes that weren't his signature shoe throughout the years. And more notably, Charles Barkley would wear these a lot. He would also wear the Air Alpha Force too. He had his own player exclusive when he played for the Philadelphia 76ers. And he would also wear the Air Force 180s a lot that also included a rubberized strap. Throughout the years, Nike had retroed the Air Alpha Force 2s, but I think this is the first time that they're ever bringing back the Air Alpha Force. They also feature a lot of similarities on the outsole, similar to the Jordan 2 and the Jordan 3 in the Air Revolution. Like we mentioned earlier, the eyelets are from the Jordan 2 and the Jordan 3, but for the outsole, it's like a combination of both Jordan 3 for towards the toe box and Jordan 2 circular shape towards the heel, also similar to the Air Revolution as well. And not too long ago, Don C did a collaboration with Jordan Brand when they released the Jordan 312 Legacy. And I wanna say he was aiming to create something like this. It really looked like it, especially when the lows came out. And I was this close to buying some of those lows, but I just couldn't do it. We did review the 312 highs, so make sure you check out that review if you're interested. These right here, I'm glad I held out for the real deal. These released on July 15th at a price point of 140. They sold out pretty much everywhere online, but if you're lucky, you might be able to stop into your local store and find a pair. Maybe stop by 85 Gallery if you're in the area, see if they have any sizes left in stock. As far as comfort goes, I suggest going true to size in the Air Alpha Force. It's a very similar fit to a Jordan 3. And you do feel a little bit of that air unit in the back of the heel. I do love the padded sock liners, very plush, very comfortable, really hugs your ankle. As far as size goes, I definitely recommend going true to size. They do fit similar to a Jordan 3. And as far as comfort goes, you can definitely feel that air unit in the back of the heel. It's a little lacking in the forefoot, but it is pretty comfortable, especially with all this padding right here to hug your ankle. It's very soft and very plush. As far as style goes, you know we love basketball shoes from the 90s, especially Nikes, so of course we're gonna love basketball shoes from the 80s. And I really like the silhouette. It's very similar to, you know, Air Force 180, which is one of my favorite shoes. I feel like we don't get to the Air Force 180 without going through the Air Alpha Force first. And, you know, maybe we don't even get to the Jordan 3. It's like right there in between the two, the three, the Air Revolution, a lot of classic silhouettes that I love. So of course, I love the style on this Air Alpha Force 88. 
I'm looking forward to seeing Nike bring back some other colorways. I did see some early looks at the white, black, and gray pair and the white and blue pair, which is similar to this with just blue. This lets me know that Nike's digging into their basketball archives to see what else they got in the tuck. So hopefully we get all the forces and the sonic flights from that era, anything from like 88 to 95, we would love to see them bring back. But how do you guys feel about the Air Alpha Force 88? Is this something that you picked up on release date or is this something that you're gonna get later on down the line? What other vintage Nike would you like to see them bring back? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys, but let's go ahead and try these on. Ain't nobody iller under the sun nobody. All killer, no filler like some 41 uh -huh. Making something out of none yeah. Trying to go on this run I just hope you know the name when it's all said and done I'm stone cold with the stunt Never been one to front If it's packed in the back, I post up in the front So if you looking for me, I'll be right here, right here. Crap check lit, always in a nice pair Trying to get checks quicker than a pair of Nike Airs Ain't no more rules, so we don't play fair Bounce right back, count up sex Ain't on me, Lil Wally, relax I always need the jug, don't finesse me with the tax Give it to me straight, don't hit me with the cap Just trying to put, shoot your shot, records on the mat Know that If you enjoyed this review, make sure you check out all our other Nike reviews right here. There's a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscription button as well. Drop a like, drop a comment. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.